So where am I? I'm in Gisborne, hanging out with Hayden this week. I just feel like I've hardly seen him recently with all the stuff that's been going on. He's here for work, for music events, so yeah, I'm just <laughs> hanging out for a whole week before heading back. And it's been boiling hot in the afternoon in this caravan. The temperature's just jumped, summer's arrived, <laughs> and I've got my little fan out from under the bed. I've actually had a few little odd jobs that I have procrastinated about doing, but I thought I'd start today. My bedroom spotlight on off switch completely broke a while ago now. I bought a replacement, it's exactly the same. So I don't even think I need the whole part. Hopefully it's a, a simple job, right? Well, I didn't get very far because I've just found that these screws just... I don't have the right attachment for them. Luckily Hayden's got his whole workshop container here for the event. So when he comes, hopefully around lunchtime, I'll be able to ask him and borrow one of the, the right screwdrivers. Failed on the first easy job, on to the next one. A couple of months ago I had a couple of small boys visit the caravan and they managed to break the divider, rip off the top. So I bought, I bought these online. I'm hoping I'll do the job. What I've learned is it's two little bits that clip together and there is a little ridge part in this which is slightly different to the old one and it means I will need a drill a slightly larger hole but it should work. Feels like it should snap close, but it doesn't look like it will actually work. ice cream break time. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's getting hot. It ended up just getting ridiculously hot and I just worked on my laptop for the rest of the day instead. It's finally starting to cool down now so I'm just gonna go for a wander. I think this area is my new favorite section. It's just really pretty. So this event is called Rhythm and Vines. Vines because you've got a whole lot of grape vines on this location. <laughs> So I'm here to hang out with you, but this is the first time I'm filming you. First time I'm being filmed. Yep. So Hayden was busy working till 8.30. So I've already eaten, now Hayden gets to eat. So we're not spending a huge amount of time together, but better than nothing, right? I've just put um, uh, three containers on the ground and then uh, one on top of that and then one bridging between two. And uh, we started at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It took about five hours to make a container bar. <laughs> now I'm hungry and eating. <laughs> Another, Another day, and I think my solution is to do this work in the morning before it gets too hot in the afternoon. The last night, I actually managed to 
find a smaller screwdriver in Hayden's workshop and I was able to unscrew this and get to the stage. So, so in theory I'm thinking this just comes off. Does it? Is it taped on or is it just slotted in? <laughs> I thought this would be the easy part. I bet the wire's threaded through these tiny holes. I don't really want to cut it. I'm also having no luck with the <laughs> putting on the new railing bit, but I thought of a, a possible solution, maybe, that might work or it might not. But I'll give it a go. In. It's nothing fancy. One, one maintenance job done. Getting there, right? Back to this one. I've turned off the power. I'm just gonna gently cut the edge of one just to see what's going on in it. Oops. <laughs> gently, Karen, gently. So I've cut all the way through. <laughs> oh, it's been soldered on, so not a chance of getting that off. I should mark that so I know it's the middle one. I bought these for the fridge project, but they should do the job, really. I'll be able to use those instead of soldering. And honestly, I've never cut material like that, but I'll try it with these. One. Turn the power back on. Yay! <laughs> and today's maintenance job is to fix my exterior grey water tank as it has a small little split in it. Nice. And build it up with. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I just realised that my green tank is actually empty. Ah. And I need to go turn it on. <laughs> but that's normal. It would be correct. Um, so you can actually have a shower? So I can actually have a shower. Well, I tend to pay the shower. Oh, no, because I've turned the other wind off as well. prettiest result but hopefully it'll stop the leak and yeah it'll work. Moving day today I'm heading down to Hawke's Bay spend a couple of days there before heading back to my brother
I was in Hawke's Bay for one full day and didn't really film much, but still good to catch up with people in the area. I then drove back to see my brother and we ended up doing a day trip to see the land. So you can see the snowy mountain from the land. I had thought it was just from the road, but it's just peeking through. My raised bed is looking good. All the cardboard's done its job of killing the grass, and now I just need to add the soil. Good apple tree's going strong. Oh, there's even an apple. A couple of apples. Looks like the plum tree is uh, recovering, and yeah, the apple's looking great. Unfortunately, my silverberries are looking a bit yellow. And I bought some plants to plant next to these fruit trees, which will hopefully support them in their growth as well. And that's it. Super quick visit, just to check it's still all here and all in one piece. <laughs> So I saw this lagoon sign, it said seven kilometers, and I was curious while we were driving past. The roads ended up being a lot longer than I thought, and it's all gravel, and a couple of parts I would actually suggest you have a four-wheel drive. So we'll see what this lagoon's like, right? This has really been a nice surprise. It's actually, it's a lot better than I was expecting, really. <laughs> 